Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we just got Dio's ending, right, right, right here. Um, and now, now we can go. I'm assuming this is Alice's ending, right? If I remember right, this is this was the whole Alice deal. We're gonna go knock that out. Hopefully, that uh, unlocks another another one of these. Cause um, let me tell you, if it doesn't, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. So we'll we'll figure that out as it comes. Hopefully, we kind of start chaining these locks, but we'll find out. So you inhaled that gas, passed out, and woke up here in the AB room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yeah. Thanks. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Myrmidon? One of us planted the bombs. And based off the code we found, it's pretty clear that person is a Myrmidon. Yes. Right? And I agree that we need to figure out who they are. What do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? Clues? Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you. We need a key. Without that, it's pointless. What's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait. A long string of numbers? Could that be... A... I bet I didn't need to write this down, but I did anyway. 7815-6109-83809-42419-90551. What the hell? <laughs> True, I would also be very freaked out if someone I was talking to just started spouting out numbers like <laughs> Could you mean ba -ba -da 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 like what the fuck? I was almost as surprised as she was. The numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind and I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously and I stared back. Where did wait? Can you say that again? Uh 78153 Six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. That's one hundred ninety-eight million four hundred forty-nine thousand three hundred fifty-one to the third power. Okay, that is also equally freaky. That is way. That is honestly more freaky to me than someone just saying a string of numbers. What? That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. You're talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get it, right? Like if you have 30, then you'd get two times three times five, right? Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? So you're saying that 198,449,351 is a prime. And if you multiply it by itself three times, you get <laughs> the number I listed out. I'm not, uh, look. Yes. Don't tell me you just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Simple mental arithmetic. What? No, no way. That's impossible. I told you, I'm better at math than most people. That's not better at math. <laughs> Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding, too. Yeah, well... Where did you find that number, anyway? Uh, 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 I... I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That, that it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Uh, could you explain that with small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. 
You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. Bro, I do not remember that. That was a while ago. What did it say on the monitor? Um, I think the first row was... Oh, uh, but Sigma's got incredible memory. Thank you. C Q U J H N M T E O N E R A X D F M I O V P. And the second row? Oh my God! You're gonna make me do the whole damn thing. B Y O L W X Y P X S V Z E Q G T K R T L E D. I think. Then they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... <laughs> at the... at the what? Well, keep going. How do we decode that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Well, the first number is one, so take the first letter. The next number is nine, so go nine letters over from the first one. Then eight from that one. Just keep going until you get something. Make sense? I ran over what she'd said in my head. The prime number Alice had given me was 198,449,351. So what would we get if we picked out letters like she'd explained? The first letter would be C from the top left. Then you move on to the right, which would, then you move nine to the right, which would give you O. Then eight more to the right. Eventually, we'd get a word. And that word was, oh, I get to actually do it. Yo, let's go. Fail and the game is over. Wow. Code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answers. So it would be wise to solve it now. Okay, um, got it. Thank you for letting me know that. The code sheet won't be displayed. So the first one is C and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then O. Just making sure that everything's right. Then eight, four, four. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. M, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. L, comp L, that doesn't sound right. I don't think we're, I don't think we're doing, doing it correctly so far, but we'll see. Oh, sorry about that. I'm still very coffee. 9351. It would have been smart if I had written that down. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Completed, I bet is what it's going to say. Um. So that was 9. What was it again? 9351. You know what? Watch this. 3, 5, 1. Got it. 1, 2, 3. T... One, two, three, four, five. ED. Yep, completed. Yep, closing to take the input screen. Easy. Easy. I did it. Completed. That's it. That's the answer. Completed? Are you sure? Yeah. I did exactly what you told me to do, and the word I got is completed. Well, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. All right, then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. Probably means that Dio's done with his mission, but you can't know that. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean? I'm guessing it, here it means mission complete. So that's what the transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. Ah, yeah, we've seen all these. Uh, none of those are new. I think. <laughs> I love his Holy face in Father. here. Holy brother. Holy master. My sacred mission is at last complete. With these two hands, mankind is saved. I am your well-made flesh. In your name, I give
Damn it. Why hadn't I realized it before? I could remember a series of numbers, but not this. At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. Not just any member, he was their leader. Don't worry about that alarm in the background. <laughs> that was nothing. That meant he had to be the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> then answer yeah. my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely, she'd just think I was insane. Even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. <laughs> If I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. <laughs> Yo, what's up, kiddo? Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. We're all really? down in the Floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Quark. Why? <laughs> we still got 45 minutes until the white doors open. I know that. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you, Kay, and Quark didn't know about the White Doors. Tenmyoji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Phi and Kay were already there. Well, so? all of a sudden, Phi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Yo, Pog. Why? Yo, what? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Tenmyoji only had one BP, Phi had chosen Betray. Yeah, well, I'm pretty... Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because of this. Because she knew she was... Because Dio, she only had one BP. Like, come on. They started to fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged into it, too. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP, too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh! Just come with me! Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him! <laughs> okay, okay! Come on, Alice, let's go! Coming! Oh, we're really taking the long way, huh? Meowm. Wouldn't it have been easier just to literally backtrack, but... Oh, no, we're going to the floor B warehouse, not the elevators. Duh. I thought we were going to the floor A one for some reason. All four of them were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even the smallest spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing ramrod straight with his hand balled into a fist at his side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. <laughs> I know. But yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was going to do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Don't make Kay sad. He's a sweet boy. Oh, you don't get to talk. Oh, don't you dare, you piece of garbage, you literal terrorist. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps, but I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, 
Well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Yeah, sure, sure, buddy. Ah, uh, god damn it! Enough already! I roared with fury, and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or, I guess I should say, Dio's mouth. <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're going to accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He'd just play dumb. He was good at it. And I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Don't play dumb, Dio. Or, should I call you, left. Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. <laughs> it was quick, but for just a moment, I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background and how his younger brother, Left, had been murdered. I mentioned it casually that the Myrmidons are all clones of a single person. So? Still not convinced? How about this? 7815-361098838098-0942419905510551. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that and you'll get 19844935 to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth could I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. So, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him yourself with your transmitter? <sighs> no. No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he- <laughs> Bruh? <laughs> that is... How did this work? How on earth did this work? It's so dumb. Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if- Ha! <laughs> I grinned. Wait. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking gotcha, loser. Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen brother. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Don't know. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Don't give me that shit! <laughs> Yo, I love this. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. I just love everyone else standing around watching this like, what the fuck is happening? These two are absolute psychos. Sigma's going off. He's having a gamer moment right now, dude. Meanwhile, Dio's just losing it. Holy shit. What are these Myrmidons? 
Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Tenmyoji quickly explained to Phi and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb, and about the code we'd found that was from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. I am going to kill you! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged toward Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Whoa, there, there it is. The fame, I, I remember seeing this so early on and I was like, well, obviously Dio's the guy who planted the bombs. He's holding a detonator here. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh. Oh my God. Is that, is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Correct. And there's one more, too. Yep, the number zero bomb. No. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So, I'm ready for that. I've got spares. <laughs> I've got spares is such a good line for a clone. <laughs> Yo, I like that. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah. Clones. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Before I had a chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Die, you bastard! Oh, gee, she's just go. What? What training? What incredible training. Yeah! She roared and leapt toward Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face, and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right! Well, why would you have the person with the detonator get him? No, you should get him! The detonator person needs to run! No, that's not, that's not how you do this, right? Clover got the detonator. As soon as she gets it, she books it while everyone else screens Dio away from her. Nah, 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 fam. Have you, do you have any fucking sense in your brain? Sigma, catch! Okay, well, all right, well, I'll allow this. This also works. Uh-huh. Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air and held it to my chest. All right, never mind. Damn all that it. I said, we'll allow it. Stop. Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! Yelling didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely though, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. Yeah, look at that face, like, come on. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. Ha! What? Serves you right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You, her, all of you. God, you're stupid. What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. 
Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. It won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. Well, what can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. True. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. Oh, yo, yeah! <laughs> Fuck! Stop, you're gonna break it! Yeah, let's go! Yo, she is loving this, holy shit. Of course. That's the plan. Please, stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Jesus. All right, now this has gone a little yikes. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat. The right-hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. She nodded and started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes, a few minutes, Jesus. It's no use. There's nothing here. Did you lie to me? No, I swear, keep looking. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> there is something in here. Bro, what is this coat? How many pockets are there to check? Like, come on, a few minutes? Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like, for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Uh, don't do that. Do not do that. D d absolutely do not do that. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Then he gobbled it. Suddenly, he moved his right hand, snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it into his mouth. I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately, he grimaced in pain. Shit! What? What was that? What do you think it was? Poison, I guess. Yeah, see, like, duh. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? <laughs> Jesus. His eyes rolled up into his head, and flecks of spittle began to trickle out, trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. By the hair, damn, dude! What the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me! Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you. Much good anyway. Hey! You, you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Bomb three, perfect. All right, we don't need we don't need that anymore. So uh, we got number zero here. Now we need number three. This one I think was I, one or two? Question mark. Um, pass, no comp pass, there, now I've got these actually labeled, perfect, um, we don't, we don't need this anymore, we actually never needed it, but you never know if we, if we ended up needing it or not, it might have been relevant at some point, ready, L, X, Q, L H C N M R L X Q. So L X Q L H C L Oh no. No no no. Red. Big red. Big red. L H C N X R? Is that right? 
NMR, thank you. L LXQ LHC NMR. God damn it. NMR. N. M. R. LXQ LHC NMR. LXQ LHC NMR. LHC. Yeah, for some reason, I thought I got those middle ones wrong. Perfect. What about the other three? Tell us the other three. He didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. Those were the last words Dio spoke. He died with a strange, happy smile. He only gave Damn. us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. Oh, well, what perfect timing. You mean the bombs are going to go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Oh. So, 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but... It takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something. Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn, he's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right, I'm on it. Good, the rest of you, let's move out. We can do this, let's go. We all took off at a run, heading to different parts of the building. But, all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. One minute. Oh, well, I mean, yep. Then, at last, chromatic doors opened. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they the doors to heaven? Or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. We didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, like the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. Holy shit, dude. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. Hey, A Alice and done, bro. Alice and yikes, you literally explode. Some of these ends are pretty, pretty rough. At least in Dio's end, you know we get to live, but. Huh.
Oh, we're getting there. Only four more. Only four more. Boom. But now we can hit these. So I think I want to hit up this path first before this one. Because I feel like the, I mean, you know, the, the ones that have been revealing themselves, right, the hidden ones, they're like, they're the more, you know, in-depth ones, right? Whereas I, I, most of the time, these kind of end where they show. But sometimes they continue on. Like, I think here, technically, it ended, like, right here, but then it, like, did this. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going here first. Anyway, left to right, it's how you read. Makes sense. Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I, I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person... That person is you! Dio! Come on, what is this? Are you high? Well, we're about to find out. Sorry, Kay, but could you hold him down? Uh, uh, well... It's on him, I promise. Knock it off, Sigma. You're doing this all backwards. So? This isn't a court. Besides, all we want to know is who set the bombs. Ugh. And why are you getting so worked up anyway? If you're innocent, then a search will show that and I'll look like an idiot. Nice try, but that's some bullshit totalitarian logic. I don't think so. What are you even basing this on? How do you know I set the bombs? Because... Just spit it out! I know about the Myrmidons. The Myrma what? <laughs> I beg your pardon? No! How do you know that, Sigma? Oh, that's not all I know. I know about Free the Soul, and I know about Brother. What the hell are you talking about? I can tell you the details later. There's no question that you were the one who set up the bombs. Who the fuck do you think you are? None of that has anything to do with me. I don't know who the Myrmidons are, and I don't know what Free the Soul is, and I certainly don't know anything about some old fart called Brother. <laughs> oh, Dio. Tell me, how does that foot taste? Who the Myrmidons are? I don't recall saying the Myrmidons are people. And what about brother? How would you know his age if I hadn't said anything besides his name? Uh. Wait, so he's left? But, but that means he's a terrorist. A terrorist? Oh dear. Left? <laughs> Looks like I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. Seriously though, when did we get so famous? The Myrmidons aren't supposed to be something anybody knows about, let alone YouTube jokers. Okay, you got me. Yes, I'm the leader of the Myrmidons. My real name is Left. I was sent here to stop Zero Senior's AB plan. That's why I planted the bombs. His AB plan, interesting. What? Zero Senior's A-B plan. So Zero Senior is not working with it, which makes sense that the Myrmidons are trying to blow up this facility. Huh. What is that plan, though? If it looked like the plan might actually succeed, I was supposed to blow this whole place sky high. A-B plan? What's that? Ho oh, ho. Well, looks like you don't know everything after all. I should have been more careful. Then again, it's not like it really matters. After all, you're gonna die here. What? God damn it, no! I leapt toward him. Well there. <laughs> Better not come any closer. You think I'm not prepared for this? Take one step and it'll be your last. Then, that thing you're holding. It's the detonator. Yeah, I guess it is. Now back the fuck off! Dio, please calm down! If you press that button, you'll die too! So, believe me, there's plenty more where this came from. 
What? Now that we've cleared that up, back off! Come on, move it! Go, go, go! We had no choice. Slowly, carefully, we backed away. All of us except for one. Tenmyoji. Oh, hey, let's go, Tenmyoji! Grandpa. Get him! You're here and gone? I said back off. No. <sighs> you. I'm not screwing around here. I can see that. So why don't you do it? Go ahead. Press that button. Oh, yo, call him out, dude. Let's go, Junpei. Oh, I love this old man. Old man Junpei is so fucking good. He's like, what are you going to do, little bitch? Press the button. If you were going to do it, you would have done it already. <laughs> what? Tenmyoji. Oh, something wrong? Hurry it up. I'm not getting any younger. Oh, do I sense hesitation? What's the matter, Dio? Scared. Well? <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> so you were just bluffing. Not bluffing, goddammit. You hear me? I'll do it. Oh, I'm sure you will. But there's really something I should tell you. See that detonator you're holding? It's a fake. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold on, I'm pulling the handbrake here real quick. What? <laughs> Excuse me. How do you know that? What? For just an instant, Dio's eyes twitch down to the device in his hand. He doesn't know it. It's the most big brain bluff of all time. Tenmyoji got him so good. Holy shit. That's so good. That's incredible. That was all the opening Tenmyoji needed. Yeah. What an absolute god. Incredible. Cried out as he leapt through the air. Tenmyoji's leg shot out, knocking the detonator from Dio's hand. <laughs> Shit! Not good! What happened? The detonator... He doesn't have it anymore. What? Well, what's happening? There's a red light on it now. <laughs> oh, you really fucked up, Tenmyoji. This is what happens when you try to show off. I mean, he got you so fucking good. There's no way he could have known about the, oh, if it gets too far away from me, the bombs act. Like, that's such nonsense, right? How do you even have that set up? But man, he fucking outplayed you. Hook, hook line, and sinker. Actually get fools mated, you dumbass. What? I'm sorry. This is my fault. I didn't have time to tell you how it worked. What are you saying? Detonator isn't supposed to be separated from Dio. If it is, then the timer on the bombs automatically activates. Damn. How much do you know? Fine, whatever. Well, he's right. If that thing ever gets more than a meter away from me, it activates. When it does, it starts the timers on all the bombs. So thanks to this old fart, you get to try and defuse a bunch of activated bombs on a countdown. You can go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Once the timers have been activated, they'll go off anyway. How long do we have? When do they explode? You should know, Sigma. Why don't you tell her? 30 minutes. Th 30 minutes? That's crazy! Yeah. How do we stop them? The emergency deactivation passwords. None of us know them, though. Right. None of us know. But there's someone who does, isn't there? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you one, since I'm such a swell guy. The password for bomb number two is... Oh! We're just knocking these out, so that means this one's probably number one. Number... Two. EQD, DYR, NTK. God, I wish I could, I wish it kept the color I had. E, Q, D, N, Y, R? D, Y, R, Jesus Christ. D, Y, R. Grr. D, Y, R, 
N something. NTK. N T K. So number zero, that means this one has to be number one. So we can go ahead and mark that down. Number one. Zero, one, two, three, computer password. We still need the computer user ID. That's the other thing we're missing. Perfect. So now we have all the bomb passwords. Sick. Bomb number two. But we haven't found that one yet. Oh? Oh. Well, my mistake. Must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. You don't have the input device. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Where's the input device? Oh gosh, I wonder. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, I, I just can't remember. You son of a bitch. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. Moving on? To where? What, I have to explain everything? To the next world, of course. No! Wait! I threw myself toward Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming it to the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arm pinned. Oh, he's trying, Shit. dude. He wants it so bad. <laughs> he's like, let me eat, please. Let go of me, goddammit. Get off of me. Let me go. He continued to struggle, but I wasn't going to let him go. I shifted my weight to free one of my hands and started trying to pry open his. Hey, hey. I'm not fucking around, all right? Let go of my goddamn arm! By then, the others had run over and piled onto Dio along with me. Even then, he refused to stop. With increasing desperation, he tried to get the hand I had grabbed into his mouth. We don't have a choice. Luna, go get the Soparil. No! If we put him to sleep, we can't get what we need out of him! You think I don't know that? What other choice do we have? Every minute we spend wrestling this prick is a minute we don't have to deal with those bombs. We don't have time for this. Ugh. What are you doing, Shit. Luna? Go! Right. I love the actual, like, fucking gun okay, cock sound the, the syringe gun makes. Like, what the fuck? I'm ready when you are. Ugh. You can do whatever you want to me, you fucking cowards! It says the guy trying to take his fucking cyanide pill. Whatever. You're still gonna die. Go ahead. Tell yourselves you can fix it. Run around like idiots before you get blown to atoms. Serves you fucking right. You're gonna burn. Oh, for God's sake. Luna, shut him up. Right. Here goes. Yeah, this kind of, I mean, at this point, you might as well just let him die. He's going to be out before the, he's not going to wake up before the bombs come to anyway, or blow up, right? So, what? what's even the point? <laughs> as they began to climb off him, I finally pried Dio's hand open. There it was, just what I'd expected. A small, unassuming capsule. I didn't know what was in it exactly, but it was undoubtedly some kind of poison. I stumbled toward the sink and tossed it into the drain. How much time do we have left? About 20 minutes or so, I think. And how much time until the white doors open? Perfect! The same. So, what do we do? <laughs> We put in those passwords and stop the bombs. We search Dio, but he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. I might have it on this path. I don't know. I know we get it on some of them. <clears throat> well, only one thing to do then. And that is? We split up and find it. Unless any of you have any other suggestions. Dismal silence filled the room. Even though no one spoke, I could see despair on every face. All right, no point sitting around. Until those things actually go off, we've still got a chance. Sigma, you come with me. 
We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started or not. Right. All the rest of you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario. We'll open the white doors and go through them to... wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so, we will begin to search for the input device in the number two bomb. Good. Thanks. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. I turned without waiting and headed for the door. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile, then hurried off after. What a goober. What an absolute goof. I'll look around. Yeah, let's do this, guys. <laughs> Dumbass. We are really... Oh yeah, no, this bomb was in here. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was the one in the garden. I was like, why are we showing this room? But yeah, there was. this was the one under the bed. That's right. I remember mm -hmm. now. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. Okay. If we get to T minus five minutes... Then we'll meet back in the Floor B warehouse. Got it? I wasn't sure what to say. If we hadn't found it by then, was there really any point in meeting up again? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say. Swimsuits never quit. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? No, that's not... That's not a thing. And it doesn't make any sense. Besides, why the hell are you cracking jokes right now? I'm just, um, trying to show you that life is still worth living. After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever <laughs> seeing me in a swimsuit. Jesus fucking Christ, what is this? Oh my God. Holy Sigma, come on, dude. Bro, don't, no, no, come on, man. You're better than this. I believe in, I believe in you. He's not better than this. He was narrator voice. He was not better than this. Oh, I see. Well, I admit I am a bit curious. All right. Looks like we're on the same page. <laughs> they get moving. We don't have time to stand around. <laughs> Dumbass. Just that easy, huh? Fine. Be careful, all right? I checked the time on my bracelet as I headed out of the crew quarter and into the hallway. It wasn't good news. Bro, <laughs> oh, only 15 minutes to find the deactivation password, find all the bombs, put in all the password, like, come on. Damn, only 15 minutes. I need to hurry. I broke into a run. Oh, we're stopping here. Where are we going? To the infirmary, okay. Before long, I found myself in front of the infirmary. All too often, what you're looking at, what you're looking for is right in front of you. We'd spent a lot of time in the infirmary, so it seemed kind of fitting somehow that it might have been there all along. Or maybe Dio had dropped it there recently. There was no way to know. And in any event, I had to start looking somewhere. And it's gonna be right there on the floor, hey! got a feeling that's not going to be the case. Hi, Luna. Luna, you're still here? Yes. The others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Why? Because the atom is here. What? I thought you might want to use it. W what? Isn't that why you're here? What? I mean, yeah, I want to know what's going on with me. Oh, is this the path where we, we had our hand cut? Is that right? It's driving me nuts. 
Hell, I feel sick. But there isn't the time for that. Being a robot isn't going to mean a lot if I die anyway. Oh, why did you come here then? Isn't that obvious? I'm trying to find the input thing so we can turn off the bombs. Really? Yes, why would I lie? I see. I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. She turned and headed toward the exit. Now use the atom and find out. Come on. Look, you're not going to make it anyway. Wait. I couldn't just let her leave like that. I sighed. How long would it take? Not more than five minutes or so. Are you sure? Only five minutes? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Analyze my body. Yo, did you get like a cool robot arm Sigma at some point? That'd be lit. Oh, here we go. Beep, beep. You want one Sigma. That'll be $14.99. I lay down on the table. Luna picked up the atom scanner and began to run it across me, slowly and methodically. In a few minutes, she was finished. That's it. You can get up now. I sat up and hopped off the table. The screen was already starting to show my results. So, uh, what does it say? My eyes were glued to her face, looking for any sign of what the answer might be. She studied the readout for several long seconds before replying. Well... It says you're not a robot. Yo, let's go! Pog, baby! You're human. I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. My relief didn't last long. But your body isn't entirely human. Mmm, okay. What? You're part machine. Yeah, the, the arm, the robot arm. Wait, what are you saying? Look here. The structure of the bones Both in your arms. arms isn't anything close to human. Both of his arms are robot arms. That's pretty cool. They're made out of a titanium alloy. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. It's also called ABT. Your arms are cybernetic. Why just his arms? What? What does that mean? Cybernetic? It means a mechanical system that interfaces with a biological one. You see all these root-like things around the titanium bones? Those are artificial nerves. They're probably connected to your own nerves, which is how you can move your arms. I imagine they allow you to feel things through your arms too. What? No, this is ridiculous. I think replacing my arms with robot ones is something I'd remember. And I know they weren't always like this. When I was a kid, I broke my arm and they took an x-ray of it. The doctor told me I had really thick bones and I must have done something pretty insane to break them. When the hell did this happen? Why did somebody replace my arms? Very, this is a, <laughs> wait. Okay, let's say you're right and my arms are cybernetic. Wouldn't that mean I don't have to worry about the bracelet going off? No, unfortunately you probably do still have to worry about that. Why? The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means they interface with the rest of your body, which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. How do you know that? I just do. That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. Don't you know what? how that feels? How did you know about the garden? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Uh... That's... Uh... I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Time? I pressed the buttons on my bracelet and felt my stomach drop. Ugh, uh, uh. One minute. You've only got a minute left. Sigma, 
There's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. B what? I shuddered. Not because I was scared of what was about to happen. Because I was scared of Luna. She was calm, unnaturally so. Unnaturally so. Like a machine with a human face. We were about to die. Yo, Luna's a robot. Oh my God. Luna's a robot. How could she be so calm? No, Luna can't be a robot. How the fuck would she die from the fucking, the injection gun then? Cause she dies in that and many other paths. Not true, not a robot. Deconfirmed robot, we're taking it back. Please pay attention. This is very important. You must be sure to remember it. Remember? I was about to die. How was I supposed to remember anything? Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember GTF BM L 016. All right. Um, so we're gonna write this one in blue. So G, fuck, GTF T F D M L. Damn it. B M L 016. 016. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. Wait, with this key, the first. Does that mean it. With this key makes it sound like it's the password, but no, 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 no. I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think, because this one said the second gate. So yeah, this one is the password, and this one's the username, right? The first gate's the username, the second gate's the password, right? Right? Uh, uh, sure, we'll go with that. I mean, if not, I can just swap them and try both of them. So whatever. Um, I don't need to write there that. There you yet. go. I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. What? Before she could answer... Kaboom, baby! The world exploded into noise and light, and I disappeared along with it. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. What? You weren't just ev fucking vaporized? Like... Or is that... Okay, it's just a metaphor. Alright, alright. Wasn't sure if you got launched into fucking space or some dumb shit. Sigma end. <laughs> the achievement's called arms race. It's fucked up. Yo, oh, so why does he have cybernetic arms? That's so weird. That's so bizarre. Oh, do I do the computer password or do I go here? I'm doing the computer password. We're doing the computer password, baby. We're knocking that one out now. I wanna, I wanna hit that one. What's behind this fucking computer, dude? Hey, look, just get, take me take me to where I need to be. We all know what's up. Mento Mori, remember death. Mento Mori! Oh, yeah, look. All right, so this is the easiest puzzle in the world. The ID is GTFDML016. FDML, um... Zero, one, six, right? Everyone knows that. And also everyone knows the password is M-I-L-K-E-V. I hope that's a M. Wait, what? Oh, I-L-K-E-V. I hope that's an O and not a, and not a zero, O-L-I. Easy, genuinely too easy. Fi, come, come over here. What's wrong? I, I got in. What? How did you figure out the login? I'm a little bit of a hacker myself. Um, just you know, dude, you type really fast and then you're you're in. It's easy. I, I don't know. I just, I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it means I just knew it. You gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. You sure? It might. What? I don't... 
Uh, look, just forget about that. Come, take a look at this. Sure. But it just said easy. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Yeah, exactly. Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? We continue to yell at each other for several more minutes. <laughs> but no matter what Fi asked me, I could never come up with an answer that satisfied her. Eventually, she seemed to give up. Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. All right. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. I gave her what she asked for. GTF DML 016. Well, what the? <laughs> Sorry, it's something happening outside my house. Spooked me a little bit. Her search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, I opened one. Gollum unit details. GTF DML 016. Gollum, Gollum unit details. Are these product specifications for a Gollum? Looks like it. So was GTF DML 016 a Gollum's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. Oh, Luna's a golem. <laughs> she is a robot. Wait a minute. Then how is she worried about the AB game? How does she die from a fucking Soparil? And, or not a Soparil. The, 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 the one that, that numbs you, the Turbo Curine. How does she die from that injection if she ain't got no fucking organs, dude? Hello? Luna. Yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, appearance after application of ABT. ABT? ABT. It is this special artificial biological <laughs> tissue, what's called ABT. Oh, I'm so glad we get to hear more of you, Gollum. I love you. When a Gollum's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of Oh, he was gonna say right in the middle of you right now is, a, is one of them. That's what he was gonna say. That's so cool. I see. Luna was a golem. And DML016 was her product ID. That must have been what Gollum was trying to tell us when he was... stopped. Hmm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. Yeah, I, I find it hard to believe as well, oddly enough. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Currently operational. Executing special mission. You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So why did Zero Senior want a robot as a participant? You think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happened, she was supposed to... Correct it or something. What if it was some kind of Voight Kampf test? A what? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. Whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. That might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room, and the eight of us are the people outside it. Hmm. Well, like I always say... It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. 
looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. When did you figure it out? That she was a golem, I mean. Right now, I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with Gollum in the pantry, you said something about how this game might be might be sort of like the Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew it? Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? Yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational. Oh, is she supposed to be dead in this timeline? Executing special mission. Whoa! Wait, what the hell? Luna's dead. You think robots die? Yeah, exactly. She was only injected with muscle relaxant. She was just pretending. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. I desperately want... <laughs> Luna was so kind-hearted that when her killer tried to kill her with fucking muscle relaxant injection, she was like, oh, I don't want them to feel bad that they that they failed. I don't want them to feel dumb, so I guess I'll just pretend I'm dead now. <laughs> Utterly incredible. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Of course! Luna's the one who opened the AB gate! That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What do you mean? What are the last three digits of her product ID? 016. And where have we seen that before? No! She- oh my god! No, I, I don't believe it. Are you saying it was Luna who handcuffed Clover and Ten Miyoji? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? The crew quarters, of course I remember. Wow, Luna's gone nuts, dude. That's a good twist. That's a good, I definitely thought they were gonna say Sigma was the robot, but nah, it's Luna. Of course she's gone, yeah. Yeah. You were right. Why? Why would Luna... And I... I trust him. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. The game hasn't stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Right. Off we go, then. Who am I voting against? I don't remember. What's happening? What are my points? What's their points? I have so much information I need to know. Please. Well, um. Uh oh. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this thing. Right. Luna's bracelet. Yeah. With her bracelet, there's three in this room. I stepped outside and set Luna's bracelet down, then headed back into the AB room. Two minutes remain until polling closes. All right, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Wait, Sigma. Huh? Oh, there she, yo, she stanced up out there. <laughs> Luna. Oh, bye. Goodbye, Luna. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Wait, 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 wait! What the hell's going on? Why is Luna here? She's probably planning on participating in the game. 
You mean she's gonna take the bracelet and go into one of the other rooms? Yeah. How's she going to vote? Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. She's got seven BP, right? Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. What? Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has nine BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Then why is she doing this? Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below nine. I don't think that's the case. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted and we'd still get nine BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't think so. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, I don't, I don't buy it, six, five. five. And I've, normally, you've got a good four. head on your shoulders. I don't buy it, though. And I, I trust him. Two, one. Nope, not buying it. Not buying it, Fi. Round three of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Well, let's see uh, what happens here. Maybe she was. Hey, Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? Wait. Wait, or no, just, wait, we can talk about that later. Right now. She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. She never went in. Then. There it was. I thought so. She didn't pick it up. Without the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Right, the results. Yeah, let's go have a look. Bro, where is Quark in all of this? I'm so con He just vanished. It's only, it's fine. <laughs> it's the only one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, if Quark was still around, he's not anymore. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. And the other six got penalized. Error, so bad, but look, we all know. And again, five of them are already dead. We don't know where Quark is, but his bracelet's already off. Oh yeah, that's right, his bracelet's off, that's fine. Yeah. Quark could still be alive. That means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... All right, what do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? What? You're kidding, right? Weren't you the one who kept going on about how Quark's still alive? I can't just run off and leave him here. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. And Luna too, right? Luna. Hmm. I mean, we don't need the AB game anymore. Everyone has nine points or is dead. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round four of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates.
Bai and I checked our bracelets out of sheer reflex. I was a magenta pair, just like before, but Pi had changed to a red solo. It didn't really matter, though. Both of our bracelets showed the number 9. All we had to do was open the number 9 door and we'd never have to play another AB game again. Alright. Quark comes first. Let's go. She spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels. Where is... What is Quark doing this whole damn time? Is he unconscious? Because he gets hit with the Radical Six, right? So... How does he just vanish? I don't think he's some weird... I don't know. Because Tenmyoji keeps saying he wasn't supposed to get wrapped up in things, right? Which makes me feel like he's not, like, in on it, you know? Kind of like how, like, Dio's kind of, like, in on it, right? He knows a lot more than he lets on. I don't feel like Quark's in that position. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe Quark knows things Tenmyoji doesn't. Maybe Quark's a robot. What if he's a little robot? It's just like a small one. That'd be pretty cool. It's a small little robot just for our boy Jumpy. Bro, we are not going to find this this kid. Like, he is, he has ghosted us. Maybe he just left. He was like, I'm out, guys. God, just... Man, this ending sucks. Everyone's fucking dead. Oh my lord. Truly awful. Truly terrible ending. I guess a lot of the endings everyone dies, but this one it's like slowly methodically. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct? Yeah. According to the map, that's the door on the bottom. There's a lever on that thing in the middle, right? We pulled it, but it only opened one of the doors. What about it? Hmm. There's another one open now. Bing, bing, bing. Take a look. See the lock? Open? Yeah. Then who the hell opened it? And how? There's only one person who could have opened it. Luna. All right. Let's head in. Okay. Oh, Luna, Luna, Luna. Mooney, Mooney, Mooney. What are you, what are you doing? You goober. What the heck are these things? I think they're treatment pods of some sort. What mint pods? Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. I didn't know how or why. But I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them, and suddenly I realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. It was a strange, unsettling feeling, as if somewhere deep inside was a version of myself that I didn't actually know. Hmm. One of them is lit up. The one on the left, is it being used? The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Let's crack it open, then. Yeah. Quark's gonna be in there, isn't he? Yep. Quark. Let's get out of here now. Let's go. We got what we needed. Go, 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 go. Our feet pounded across the floor of the warehouse. <sighs> this is it. <laughs> the zoom up of it is so funny to me. Quark's body bounced in my arms as I ran. His pulse and breathing were normal. He was limp and unconscious, but he was alive. The pod's display had given us a little information on his condition. As far as we could tell, he'd been given an anesthetic, which had put him to sleep. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. What about, what about Luna, though? The robot? Um... 
Is it really okay for us to just leave? What the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? What? Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. I don't think that's the case. But why? Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? 016. And what's that the same number as? The last three digits of Luna's product ID. Where did we find the old woman's corpse? In the AB room that Luna came out of. And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it anytime she wanted. That means any alibi she might have for not being able to move the crane is worthless. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. To keep her quiet. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. But again, we know that Dio's the one who killed the old woman. He confessed to it. He literally said he did it. Like... You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive, but look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Quark. <laughs> think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or, through, at, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Okay. You're right. Let's get out of here. Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? You don't have to ask me. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. God, this is the slowest door in existence, I swear. <laughs> it is pretty big though, so like, I, you know, there's a lot going on. A lot of hydraulics, I bet. With a heavy labored groan, the number nine door began to open. As soon as the gap was wide enough to admit her body, I slipped through it. I followed her through, Quark still cradled in my arms. Inside was a massive lift platform, like the kind used to move industrial cargo. Fi turned to face me, and I shoved Quark into her arms. Huh? Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. He's going back in, let's go, what a Chad. Later, Fi. Have fun with Quark. He's your responsibility now, dumbass. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Sigma! <laughs> look at this. She's like, look at Quark like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with him? Like, what? What the hell are you thinking? Get back here! Sorry, Fi. There's just... There's something I have to do. Take care of Quark. No, you don't mean you're going to go find Luna. God damn it, Sigma. Think about what you're doing. Sigma, listen to me. You can't do this. Too late, I already did it. Bye, Fi. Bye, 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 Fi. Have fun. Have fun in the outside world. It's a, uh, it's 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 a shit show. It's hell. It's uh, not great. Honestly, living in here with the nine of us would probably be more comfortable. But we'll see. The number nine door 
has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. I had no regrets. In fact, with Phi and Quark's successful escape, I felt a profound sense of relief. One of my objectives had been achieved, and a difficult choice had been made. My mind felt clear and focused, more so than it had in a long time. Alright, time to go. Luna's waiting. Where is she? The garden, maybe? She waiting in the garden? Perhaps, per chance? Yup. Luna. I knew you'd be here. You knew? Oh, right. We haven't talked here in this one, huh? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but... It makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel... happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but... Are you talking about something that happened in another history? I know what, what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. Who told you that? Luna looked down at the music box around her neck. Carefully and delicately, she twisted the dial on the bottom. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Well, actually, I already know you didn't do it. Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. All right. I nodded and took a moment to compose my thoughts. Might as well start with the old woman. There's no point beating around the bush, I suppose. Dio killed her. Why do you think so? He told me. Her left arm had blood splattered all the way up to the elbow. Except for a stripe on the wrist that was perfectly clean. What could have caused that? My guess is a bracelet. He got covered with blood and kept her wrist clean. Obviously, none of our bracelets had blood splatter on them, but Dio's bracelet reacted to the luminol. That meant Dio's bracelet had to have come from the old woman. Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? No, that's only enough to suspect him. After all, he could have just taken the bracelet after someone else killed her. Then why are you so sure? Because he confessed. Yeah, literally because he told me. What? After his bracelet reacted to the luminol, I confronted him. All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? In a different timeline. Isn't that against the rules? What rules? I hope you're not going to try and bring up Nox's Ten Commandments. Does it really matter if it's against the rules or fair? The truth is the truth. Let's say that Incident P happens, and after that, the timeline splits into Timeline A and Timeline B. I don't think it's unfair to base a theory in Timeline A on information I found in Timeline B. After all, A and B both came from the same place, P. If you trace the history of both timelines, you'd end up back at Incident P. Now, if I could change what happened with Incident P by visiting Timeline A or B, then yes, it'd be a different story. I don't know if that'd be unfair per se, but I'd certainly be breaking some pretty big rules. Like, you know, the principle of causality. I'm sure that Dio killed the old woman. By extension, that means you couldn't have killed her. I'm assuming Dio wasn't originally intended to be part of the nonary game. 
Somehow, he got in and took the old woman's place. That's how he ended up as Quark's partner. This is just an educated guess, but I have a feeling his plan was to replace one of us. I doubt it mattered which one. I have no idea why he would want to do something like that, and I don't know how he did it either. But the fact remains that he did. He hid in the warehouse on floor A and waited for someone to come out of one of the AB rooms. That someone turned out to be the old woman. She left Quark asleep in the AB room and came out on her own. Somehow, he managed to get close enough to stab her. He did it near the wall with the graffiti on it. I'm guessing he stabbed her from behind so that he wouldn't get any blood on himself. As soon as she was dead, he wrapped the knife up in a handkerchief. No, wait, actually, he probably took the bracelet first. Then he would have needed to wipe the blood off, so he used the handkerchief for that too. Anyway, the point is he got the bracelet and put it on. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the rightmost AB room and its neighbor. He probably didn't expect that they'd move or he would have put it somewhere else. After that, he headed back into the AB room that the woman had left. Quark would have still been fast asleep, so as far as he knew, Dio was the only one. Dio was the one there the whole time. This does raise a few other questions, but I'll save those for later. For now, let's move on to the other other murders. Well, actually, one of them probably isn't a murder. What do you mean? I'm talking about Alice. I'm pretty sure she... committed suicide. All of humanity is going to die. Adults, children, everyone, everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! She'd been infected with Radical Six. I think that infection caused her to take her own life. She used Dio's knife, which she'd found in the warehouse after the AB room moved and exposed it. She took it with her and then used it to stab herself in the crew quarters. Next are Clover and Tenmyoji. The first question is, who put the handcuffs on them? The clue is the message in Clover's... The clue is the message Clover left. 016. If you think about it, though, it doesn't make sense. Clover's left hand was in the handcuffs. That means she would have had to write with her right hand on her right thigh. I feel like it would have been really hard to do that, you know? Would it? Right hand on right thigh? Not really. I'm, I'm doing it right now. What? Why not just use your left thigh? The thing is, I think she did. When she died, her legs slumped together and the message got transferred to the right thigh. Yeah, I told you, I did, I said this exact theory. I said it was Dio. We just never saw the original because we didn't bother to check the other leg. In other words, she wasn't trying to write 016. She was trying to write Dio. With her dying breath, she was trying to tell us the name of her killer. Now, about K and Dio, I think there's a pretty good chance Dio killed K. Here's how I imagine it happened. K probably sprayed Dio's bracelet with the luminol. We found the bottle in Kay's robe. He wouldn't have seen the reaction immediately, but Dio would have known what was coming. As soon as Kay turned the lights off, it would have been clear that Dio had taken the old woman's bracelet. My guess is he decided to take preemptive action. When we found their bodies, the lights in the rec room were on. Maybe Kay turned the switch turned to switch the light off, and Dio took that opportunity to attack him. K was hurt pretty badly, but he didn't die right away. He probably managed to grab the spear and stab Dio. Then he died. So that accounts for all six bodies. 
None of them your fault. Sigma, I'm glad you don't think I did it, but all of your theories are just, well, theories. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say, or even that it was supposed to refer to Dio. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? That's why I trust you. What? I trust you because you're a robot. Your robotness is just one more reason you can't be the killer. Well, three more reasons. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Rule one. A robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Sigma? Luna, I have to ask you. Can you tell me, well, everything you know? Your mind is the central server, or in the central server. You should know everything that's happened here. There was a long pause. Luna stood up and walked deeper into the garden. I followed her in silence. Eventually, we reached the bench. Luna quietly sat down and, just like last time, I lowered myself down beside her. You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. That doesn't matter. Tell me everything. Well, first, yes, Dio did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. How the hell did he get through that? Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. Mmm. It doesn't really sound like sneaking. It sounds more like he just walked in. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily, but that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. What do you mean? Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. So they brought him here? In a way. But why? Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. What project? I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? No, let's anyway, not focus on the murders. Dio found his way in. Let's focus on Zero's project. That sounds like a way more important thing to learn about right now. They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. So why did he come here? To make sure Zero's project failed. His first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. 5th and 6th? Counting from the left in their original placement. In other words, the rightmost room would be the 6th room, and the one next to it would be the 5th. Right. After that, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. What were you doing while that was happening? Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Jr. had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the 5th room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Jesus. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Jr. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Wait, if Zero Jr. controls everything, 
Then he was the one who moved the sixth room with the crane. Yes, that's right. Zero Jr. moved the room, not me. Then, who moved the old woman? Me. It took me ten minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Why did you do that? Because I was ordered to. What? Luna, listen to me very carefully. Whoa! We actually get a voice for her now! As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes, I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen? I also have doubts about the use of Radical 6. Oh, they're actually actively using it! Wow! Ooh. Yikes! Are... are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease? That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna, I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Yes. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the AB room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth AB room. But why? Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. That's a lot to unpack. After that, I went into the AB room as I'd been told to. But we didn't, I don't feel like we really gained a whole lot of information there just now. Like, these were things we knew, what we were really, like, things we already knew what happened, right? We're more just trying to find, like, I need motivations. I need to, I need to know, like, reasons behind actions at this point. I feel like a general overview of what has happened, I've got most of that nailed down. But, like, why any of it has happened is very important to me. As soon as I stepped inside... My body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, 
I was still awake, so I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. And you saw the old woman being murdered. Yes. It was... hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve, when I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart, felt like it snapped in two. Whew! I... I think I understand. Everything you did, you did because you'd been ordered to. Yes. And it was the old woman who gave you those orders. Then is she... Zero Senior? No. What? But if she gave you the orders... She did, but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. There was someone else? Yes. And that person is Zero Senior? Yes. They worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. But why? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. If they didn't want people to suspect you, then why have you moved the body in the first place? Eventually, we'd figure out that the rooms had been moved and that she was in your room. Then maybe they wanted the opposite. You mean... Maybe they wanted you to suspect me. That doesn't make sense either. If they wanted people to suspect you, why move the room? You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. You mean like Alice? Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. So they somehow knew Dio would hide the knife there? Yes. I think so. But how could they know that? Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Wait, you were listening to us in the security office? Yes, that wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. You were watching through the security cameras? Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room 2 in the crew quarters. We entered at about 0 hours, 1 minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. If you lie or try to play dumb or something, I'll, I'll kill you right in front of her! I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice, that she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the AB room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it. <laughs> Aww. But I couldn't answer any of her questions. <laughs> Because of your orders. Yes. 
Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course. While we were fighting over it, Whoa, hold on a minute. The trigger got pulled in the fight, I get that part. What I don't understand is why it did anything to you. You mean, because I'm a golem? Yeah. One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. That's why you, uh, died. To keep, the to keep up the facade that you were human. No. I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. How can you be so sure? When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. You mean the defibrillator? Yes. That uses an electric shock to restart the heart, right? Correct. So that was why she left. Yes. At 0 hours 11 minutes 40 seconds, Clover left the cabin in the crew quarters. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes. Dio? I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. And he just watched her go by? Yes. I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing, but he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. Came back to get his knife. At zero hours, 12 minutes, Dio enters the room. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. Yeah, I bet. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. Wouldn't imagine it would. What did he do then? He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Right. Without it, Dio and Kay, the yellow pair, wouldn't be able to get through the secondary door. Yeah. Right? But he couldn't find it. Of course! Bai had already taken it by then. Yes. But there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. But why did he want the knife? Was it because he'd used it to kill the old woman? No, I don't think so. Then what do you think? I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. Actually, the stupidest thing this terrorist group has ever done. They're supposed to be these secret agents that no one knows about, and Dio's like, when do we get so famous? I don't know. Almost like you dumb fucks are putting your goddamn secret organization name name on your knives like come on that's why he hid it so well after dumbass he the old woman why wouldn't he want anyone to see that do you remember what it said there was a word engraved on the blade myrmidons yes what does myrmidons mean it's the name of the organization he belongs to uh what is it like a club or something i don't think so well, what is it then? Um, I don't really know. No idea? I'm afraid not. Wait, wasn't he here to try and stop whatever Zero was doing? Yes. Then, uh, wouldn't that mean he's on our side? Um, I don't know about that. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. Hmm. You've got a point. Damn it, this is ridiculous. I guess this enemy of my enemy isn't my friend, huh? 
May I continue? Yeah, keep going. After he took the knife, Dio rifled through what few belongings Alice had. Luna said he didn't seem to be looking for anything in particular. He was probably just checking to see if she had anything useful. That was where he found the key to Kiei's suit. He didn't seem to have any particular reason for taking it. At least, as far as Luna could tell. At 0 hours 13 minutes, Dio left the room. He heard Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back, but Dio didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? When Clover tried to push past Dio, Luna said, they began to fight. The fuck do you think you're doing? Dio pulled the knife out of his pocket and pointed it at Clover's throat. That was when he showed up. Oh, Tenmyoji. Dio, what the hell are you doing? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch. He let out a yell and leapt towards Dio. The younger man dodged him easily and lashed out with the knife. Tenmyoji caught Dio's hand with a grunt and for a moment, the two men struggled. Then, as the knife edged closer, he wrapped his other hand around the blade and tried to force it away. But Dio was a much younger and stronger man, and the wound Tenmyoji gave himself with the knife didn't do him any favors. He put up a valiant fight, but with a roar, Dio threw him off, and Tenmyoji collapsed to the floor. What are you going to do? Let's see. How about this? <laughs> How cute. You two really look great together, you know? What are you going to do to us? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna handcuff you to a sink. Actually, I already have. Are you gonna beat us to death or something? Ugh, no. Nothing so tasteless. What are you going to do then? How'd you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got... Oh, 20 some minutes until the primary white what door is open. What a sadistic fuck. Jesus. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close. Give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized. Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the Floor B warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Later. Twenty-five minutes passed and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. You mean me, Phi, and Kay, right? Yes. You were in the crew quarters at this point. Yeah. Kay had told us about you. We also noticed that the knife in Alice's chest had been removed. If only we'd known what was happening in the infirmary. Unfortunately for Clover and Tenmyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. The anesthetic, right? Yes. Almost immediately, they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. And the word she wrote was Dio. Yes. A 
As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. So K sprayed Dio's bracelet with the luminol, and then while his back was turned to Dio, back was turned, Dio attacked him with the axe. Dio mortally wounded him, but didn't kill him. So K turned around and stabbed Dio with the spear. And I guess that's when we found them. Yes. When did Kay get the luminol? After they went through the white door, Dio and Kay found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Dio expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. <laughs> And that was when he found the luminol. Right. That's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Well, what do you think? Does a bear shit in the woods? Um. Well, the first thing is Quark's bracelet. Why was it in the infirmary? Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. But why did Tenmyoji have Quark's bracelet? I told him where it was. Do you remember when, when you were in the rec room with Fi and Tenmyoji? Yeah, when he sprayed us with the luminol, right? Sure, I remember that. Right after then. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji, the center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. That was the treatment room, right? Yes. Where Quark was sleeping. Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Out of relief, right? Yes. The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment you looked at it. Next to the pod was Quark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. Why was Quark's bracelet off? I took it off. Aluminum how? foil. What? What? <laughs> You mean the stuff from the crew quarters? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? W what? Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. You fancy little bracelets get up on that. They're always watching! Wait, so you're telling me the aluminum foil can block out the electromagnetic waves your heart sends out? Yes. All you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. And the bracelet thinks your heart has stopped? Yes. Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Wait, why was Quark in the pod to begin with? Oh, that's easy. I put him there. When did you do that? Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. So you carried him to the treatment pod? Yes. Were you the one who unlocked the treatment center too? No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. So, it was Zero Jr.? That's right. He reactivated your body too, right? Man, I don't get any of this. Why the hell did he do that? 
I guess it wasn't really him that did it, huh? He was just doing what Zero Senior and the old lady told him to do. Everything leads back to them, huh? <sighs> of course it does. So, are you going to tell me? Tell you what? Isn't that obvious? Tell me what this project is. Everything that happens in here has something to do with it. So why were we brought here? To play the nonary game. And why are were we supposed to play the nonary game? That was part of the project. Why did Alice kill herself? Because she was infected with Radical Six. How did she get infected? Zero Senior and the old woman did that. It Why? was a necessary evil. It had to happen for the project to succeed. What would have happened if Alice hadn't committed suicide? Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Um, killed me. Then what? I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. In other words, you're saying Clover and Tenmyoji died for this project? Yes. Well, actually, it was the Turbo Curing that killed them. But they were only injected with it because of their bracelets, and they were only wearing those bracelets because of the Nonary game. If the Nonary game was part of the project, then that's one more way it killed them. I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Now what about Kay and Dio? Why would they kill each other? Because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. Then if Dio hadn't killed the old lady, what happened in the rec room would never have taken place, right? Yes. So let me ask you this. Why did Dio kill her? So that he could pose as one of the participants. And why did he do that? To disrupt the project. Then why did she let him kill her? The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. The project couldn't be allowed to fail. We're kind of just going in circles here. Six people died here. Four of them were murdered, one way or another, by Dio. At first, that makes it look like Dio's the reason they all died, but that's not true, is it? All of them, all six of them, they all died for this project. That means that the murderer, or I guess I should say murderers, were the old lady and Zero Senior, right? Please, Luna, tell me. What is this project about? Who is the old woman? Who is Zero? Sigma. Would you... hug me? You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. What? Oh, Yo, what a, what a dumb shirt. Bad. Stay the hearts, lady. I've never gotten a good look at his shirt. So goofy. What does this say? Safety? Okay. <laughs> Instead of answering, Luna wrapped her arms around me and buried her face in my chest. My own arms hovered in the air, confused about where they should go. I swallowed hard and tried to rein in my heartbeat, which had suddenly doubled. I was about to speak when I felt something warm on my chest. Was Luna... crying? This feels... nice. Her voice shook as she spoke. I lowered one hand to her head and began to gently stroke her hair. Uh. Hey, Luna. What the hell's going on? I'm sorry. My ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubocurarine... Okay, okay. I, I get it. This... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... 
A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. I wrapped my arms around Luna and hugged her as tight as I could. You believed in me this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Even though I look like... Like this? <laughs> of course. I trust you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could stay here forever. You feel so nice. But I think my time is up. <laughs> what? I've done things I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked Oh, it. yo, she hacked into the fucking mainframe, dude! Let's go, Luna! Yes. What? That was the first thing. The second. Do you know what the second one was? Opening the treatment bay door? If I had really wanted to, I could have oh. saved Clover and Tenmyo. Uh. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself. And I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I, I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is very, very bad. Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course, but everything that's stored in the core, your memories, your consciousness, is deleted. <laughs> what? Wait, are you saying- Yes, very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Jr. is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. <laughs> what? Why? I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserve this. No! No, you don't! Even if you had done something, you would have been killed anyway. You can't blame yourself. You, you did what you could. You're not wrong. This game is what's wrong. Forcing you to watch your friends die is what's wrong. Oh, Sigma, thank you. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. Luna! Luna! It's going to be okay. I'm, I'm not gonna let them do this. What are you gonna do? Fight the fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna hack in myself. Give me a terminal. I'm going in, baby. You're gonna be fine. I promise. Just please don't... I'm sorry. My time's up. At least I get to die in your arms. Luna! Thank you. Sigma. And... Goodbye, Doctor. Doctor? What the fuck? Doctor? I'm Zero Senior. I knew it all along, baby! I'm probably a clone of him. Like Kay is. But she couldn't answer. I squeezed my eyes shut and held her, unable to bear the thought of letting any more of her slip away. With one last quiet chime, the music box wound down. I was left with nothing but silence and the cold pool of tears over my heart. Oh, that's a that's a really sad one. Holy shit. That is uh, probably the saddest ending yet. God damn. Or Luna, Luna and Tears in the Rain. What an achievement name. Oh. And we are, we're almost there. We are so close to cracking this. Cool. So I'm guessing this is probably if you if you betray Luna here, it's just like bad end, dumbass. Uh, the game game over, idiot. This is what you get. Yeah, same same here. I need to knock that one out as well. Um, but yeah, that's. Oh wait a minute. Oh now we can do the five minutes of life because we know about the aluminum foil. Oh my god. All right. This is where I'm gonna end the end, ep end the episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I think next episode I'm gonna knock out the bad ends real quick. Just like not not a big deal, right? 
you know, any anything interesting that happens, we'll pay attention, but it's probably just going to be a lot of the same we've already seen, uh, but maybe not. Who knows? I think I want to do the five minutes of life first, and then I want to knock. I want to save this one for last. So that's the general order of operations here. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the Steam Store page. You can pick up the game for yourself and play through it. There's not much left. The time's running out. Maybe you'll play through it after and see things I missed. I know if you interact with things multiple times, you get new dialogue. So if that interests you, maybe, I don't know. Look, don't. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. But uh, yeah, if you've made it uh, this far with me, thank you so much. I really, genuinely, wholeheartedly appreciate you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or your night or whatever time it is for you. And I will see you again next time. Goodbye.